Dear friends, a hearty welcome to the second Sunday of Advent. A season where we reform ourselves with repentance and change of mind and walking closer to God. Let's have a look a past glance at the globe of those who made a great effort for the transformation change in the existing society of their time. We always talk about seeking change. Change is not changing people in our lives, but changing our attitude, giving up certain things that are not required and holding on to something which enhances the human lives. In 539 BC, we have Cyrus the Great who conquered Babylon. The customary action is to slaughter everybody and take away the things. Instead, he freed all the slaves and declared freedom of religion and established a racial equity. And we have in 14th century, the reformation cult which emerged in the church due to nationalism, merchantilism, anti-clericalism and church owning properties. And we know how the Protestants and the latter groups that emerged. And of course, it did affect many areas like literature, and countries that hold and uphold. In 18th century, we have Simon Bolivar who led the troops against the Spanish colonialism in South America, who becomes an iconic leader and he fought for change in the society and the rulers. In early 19th century, we had seen Che Guevara, an Argentinian who with the ideology of communism, who witnessed poverty and injustice, and developed a political ideology rooted in communism and anti-capitalism and anti-imperialism. Martin Luther King the Jr. had taken non-violent protests and mass demonstrations to draw attention and racial discrimination in America. And the similar strategy was also followed by Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi in India to fight against British rule. Nelson Mandela and Desmond Tutu have worked together against apartheid and brought freedom in South America and we know Nelson Mandela becomes the first black president in South American country. Mahmoud Yunus from Bangladesh who worked with his revolutionary thought of giving loans to the micro investors and concern for the poor and brought and labored for the equity in the economic world. All of them have labored for a political change. And we also have a few to name in the Indian history, especially in 19th and 20th century. Raja Ramohan Rai, who emphasized in 19th century about women right and widow remarriage and their education as well, in the name of Brahma Samaj. Vivekananda also worked against caste system and untouchability with the Jnana Marga and whose master Ramakrishna Paramahamsa took the way of Bhakti Marga. Most of us are complacent to the existing system and do not voice out and do not work. Rather, we go with the flow and the wind. Instead, we tie our hands down. But these mentioned names are those who labored against the system for the sake of a better society and for the human beings. And why do we think of all of them today? Because we have someone outstanding in the history of the Jews, that is John the Baptist, the hero of the Advent season. He was a religious reformer, social liberator, a visionary and a devotee and monastic abstinence follower. He became an object of curiosity and amusement of his time because he called out and he is said to be the cry in the wilderness and yet he could draw many at the bank of Jordan. His reformative act in terms of religion is something outstanding and very dangerous. He called out for baptism and for Jews it is about conversion of heart. And for the Gentiles it is all about circumcision, blood offering or slaughtering of an animal and immersion of the water. But John the Baptist makes it inclusive for all to come and receive the baptism at Jordan breaking barriers of Jews and Gentiles and calls everyone to repent at their heart. And he even courageously questioned the king who did not live his life 
morally authentic and we know his attire and proved his poverty wearing the camel skin and taking what was available in the desert as his diet he made his impact the way he led his life the way he preached his life and proved that his birth was unique spirit filled through elizabeth at an age which was impossible to give birth and he made the way to another spirit filled person god himself that is emmanuel jesus the christ let us today give up the lukewarm nature of living and take up the challenges and let us silence all that harms us to grow closer to god and let us also make way for people to come into the mainstream let us all pray for such leadership within us within the church in the society and in the world god bless us all